Okay, guys, can you hear me now? <laughs> I do not know why this computer does that. I'm back. I'm back. Um, hi, everyone. So you missed everything I was talking about, which was uh, I was saying happy birthday to everyone. Um, it's Mina's birthday, right? Classy Chica. That's your that's your real name. right? Um, happy birthday to Mina. And happy birthday to Sarah. Yay. Um, so happy birthday, everyone. Mom is here. Hi, Mom. Um, yay. Welcome to Thursday. Welcome to um, another. Yes, it's Mina. That's what I thought. Um, hi, everyone. So, um, OK, so people are having birthdays. Um, it's 30 o'clock. Hi, Missy. Um, so don't forget that tomorrow is the Zoom birthday party. Um, so that is for, well, it's for anyone on Patreon can come. I'll be posting the link tomorrow and we're going to be celebrating the Aries birthday people, including myself, selfishly. So it'll be really fun. So don't forget that. It's Lucy's dad's birthday. Oh, you like my dress? Thank you, everyone. So this is, someone asked me recently what was my favorite dress that I've ever made. And I was like, I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's definitely the one that I wear the most. This is the um, the boat neck dress from Gertie Sew's Jiffy Dresses in this really pretty um, embroidered cotton. And I just wear it all year. Oh, it has a pretty, um, like, low back, too. Ooh, hello. Hello. Um, nice low back, nice high front. And the sleeves are, like, very forgiving, which I like, too. It's just very comfy. So um, you may notice that my hair looks a little different today. I was thinking we could do a hair tutorial, um, mostly because I didn't feel like doing my hair today. <laughs> so guys, when you're not with me, this is what my hair looks like, all right? I just want you to know, you guys are always like, you're feeling bad about yourself um, because you haven't done your hair or whatever. Um, this is what my hair usually looks like, okay? So don't feel bad. Um, I like a messy bun as much as the next girl. And, and um, today is the last day of my hair washing cycle. So I thought, because we remember we did a hair tutorial on day one of my hair washing cycle when my hair was like silky clean. And um, what did we do? Oh, we did, we did an updo with the hairnet, like a little sort of chignon kind of thing no it wasn't a chignon um but i had a like center part with the combs and then the little bun in the net and just and then did some little um did some like flowers and stuff so today is my um messy hair so last day of the wash cycle um it's very dirty and i also i hate brushing my hair i gotta tell you guys um, so it's messy, it's tangly, and I know a hairstyle, I do a hairstyle that, um, is great for messy, dirty hair, and you also don't have to brush it. So, <laughs> or at least I didn't have to the last time I did this, and you guys loved how it looks. So I'm just going to show you how I did it. And I'm glad that Missy is here because, um, if you, ha if you haven't heard me say this before, Missy does my hair and makeup for the charm pattern shoots. And a lot of you mentioned how much you like that twisted updo in the post I put up today. And we had been kind of scheming that updo for quite a while. It was based on Ginger Rogers in top hat. She had that like the twist going over her head. And so Missy did like a really beautiful, um, very polished, um, version of that which involved extension so like clip-ins and then she kind of left some of the hair down in the back and did I think she did some like rolls with it to kind of just make it look like pretty in the back and then twisted the top so um that's all to say that that's not what I'm showing you today um I'm I I'm not a hairdresser I'm not a hair genius like Missy so I'm just going to show you like a really easy um super quick kind of 
it's not even a version of it. It's just like inspired by that. It's like twists rather than braids. And it's kind of similar to Milkmaid braids. Okay. Um, all right. So let's go for it, shall we? It was our last hairdo. Don't say it like that. <laughs> I could sound like we'll never see each other again. Um, yeah, it was the last one. It was the last that we did together, but not the last. Okay, <laughs> there's my hair. Um, so what I'm gonna do, actually, I need a comb. Hold on, guys. Talk amongst yourselves. The bathroom's right here. Okay. I'm back. Um, <laughs> don't say that. Of oh, the shoot, yes. <laughs> no, it's not our last forever. Um, okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is just part my hair in the center from like all the way from here all the way to my neck. I can't get rid of you that quick. We'll be together again someday, Missy. Um, OK, so I'm going to start parting here. And you guys might know that I'm like terrible at parting my hair and I don't really care what it looks like when it's parted. So and I don't know why I have so much trouble. <laughs> I can't draw a straight line. Okay, so we're just going to try to do this. And I'm like, well, who cares what it looks like in the back? All right. Top looks fine. There's that. Let me just see if I can clean up the back. Mm. Use the tail end. Oh, my gosh, you guys are so smart. Is that why I have so much? Eh, it's harder. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't. I can't. All right, guys. I just I have to do my do it my messy way. I'll practice with that when you guys aren't watching me. Okay. Okay. Tail end is best. Um, all right. So I just kind of like smooth it out. So it's just divided into two sections, right? So you can kind of like smooth it with the the brush if you want to, but honestly, it's not like super important. And the whole point of this hairstyle is to show you something really quick that you can do. If you've got, uh, see, see how tangly my hair is? If you've got like no time to get ready and you're like, wanna look cute, you wanna look cute. Okay. All right, so you're gonna hold, so I start the twists up here, like I'm about to do like these crazy high pigtails. Start the twists up here, and then I just like divide it into two sections. Oh gosh. Hold on. The scarf was um, was tulle. It was like a jack o -net tulle scarf, the one I showed you guys. Okay. Two sections, and do you want to see how how dorky I look when I do this? Because I like to kind of bend over so that the hair is going down. Ooh. And like I'm just twisting. So just twist them. You don't even have to braid. I got a little pippy long stocking thing going on now. Okay, so twist all the way to the end, and then you're gonna start pulling the twist over to the side here. And it's gonna sit on top of your head like that. Okay, so I have I do milkmaid braids sometimes and I start them like down here. These I start up here. Okay, so do you see that twist? Now you're gonna grab a bobby pin. And secure it on this side. And this is going to get covered up, so don't worry too much about that. All right. And I also like to kind of fatten up the twist a little bit if it's too, too skinny looking. And we're going to spray all of this down, so don't worry too much about the, um, the flyaways. 
And I'm gonna take another pin and secure this side. All right, so don't worry about the rest. Now I'm gonna do the other side. So again, just take the whole thing up here like this. Now I'm gonna, I don't know why I have to do it this way, guys. Don't make fun of me. I'm gonna go, start twisting on this side. Twist, twist. <laughs> I do have a lot of hair. Twist, twist, just twist them. You don't even have to braid. You could braid if you wanted to. But this is the Ginger Rogers inspired one. Hers was just twisting. Okay, and then you're gonna tuck the ends of the first side in. And then this one can go either in front like that or in back, oh, I like it in front. I'm gonna do it in front. Um, so then I'm going to, no, no, no. I'm gonna put it behind. I'm gonna put it behind. Okay, and then I'm going to pin that one behind there. This is weird. This is hard to do in the camera, guys. Don't judge me. I wish I brought a mirror in here. And then make sure all your ends are tucked in. Um, I'm having a real hard time seeing, so it looks like a mess. Um, yeah, I'm just going to keep going with neatening it up. And you can just kind of pull the twists out a little bit. No judging. <laughs> I am doing it with camera view only. Why I'm doing that, I don't know. So guys, I can't be bothered to do this too much. Um, but I'm gonna just spray this up, spray this up. I love a challenge. So yeah, you can just kind of, um, yeah, and you can just kind of like play around with it. And now, now would be a good time if you weren't totally happy with it. Like I'm not really totally happy with mine today. Put some flowers on top. Just thread on everything, guys. Just put some flowers on it. Do it Frida Kahlo style. Um, yeah, I'm not loving it, guys. I'm not loving it. Um, I think maybe I, sh I should have given myself a mirror here today. When in doubt, add flowers. Yeah, I think this is kind of how I wore it the other day when we did the live. I just had like one flower back here, right? There we go. There we go. <laughs> I feel like a mess today, guys. Um, oh, oh, bobby pins or hair pins. I don't know what the difference is. Um, they look like this. I should wear a tiara. I'm going to wear a tiara tomorrow. You're liking the flower? Oh, I like this one over here. A oh, mess. Oh, oh, <laughs> red is better. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm regretting my decision to do this on camera today. The white pops, that's what I think, Evie. How's that? <laughs> But the point is, you can just keep piling stuff on top. 
Um, yeah, and and that's it. So yeah, you could do the white. We could try to like just clean it up a little bit more. Oh, I have some light pink too. Team white flower. Oh my gosh. If only we could do a poll. That's all I got today, guys. <laughs> mm, this is my worst hair tutorial yet. Um, what should I do with it, guys? You think they're both good? All the flowers. I'm going to take it down. I'm over this. Um, so you get the idea, though, right? You just you twist on each side. Should we do a milkmaid braid next and see if that works better? Maybe that's what I would do next. Oh, Missy, are you just cringing watching this? Poor Missy. Um, see, this is why I need Missy. So you guys like the new patterns? I saw someone say that. Thank you. We're be we've been getting so many orders. So thank you, guys. Um, we're having a we have a we're having a great pre-order period for the uh, <laughs> the um, the Stanwick skirt and the Hepburn top. Oh, I'm a hot mess. I'm doing a great job. You're so sweet, Missy. Um, huh. So let's see. Um, how many pre-orders? I'm not sure, but um, more than I expected. So that's nice. I had a beret. Um, an updo with a scarf. Yeah, you could do that. Um, I know, Missy, and I just got it cut, too, pretty recently, before quarantine. It's gotten really long. Um, here, we'll just brush my hair. Today on Gertie's live stream, watch Gertie brush her hair. People probably do stuff like that on live streams, right? Uh, Jen says, I have to order next week. I spent all my fun money at B&J this week. Guys, yeah, I found my brush. And I don't remember where it was, <laughs> but I found it. Um, so, guys, I have some news. Um, B I've been in touch with B&J, and um, they are go they're giving us, well, how much do I want to tell you? Um, here comes the creeps. Um, preen, live preen. Um, so B and J, I think I mentioned to you guys that they contacted me huh, with some ideas, um, because they are closed right now. Um, I want to tell you everything. Um, so B and J is closed right now. They're in New York City, so obviously they're hit pretty hard by this. Um, they contacted me and said, and you know, wanted to talk about ideas for promoting their store and reaching out to home sewers during the quarantine and kind of promoting the fact that they do online sales um, because they do. Um, and so they had a few ideas for ways that they could work with um, me and with Charm Patterns and with our Patreon specifically. And um, so two of them we're like going forward with right now. Uh, and one of those is that they are gonna be sponsoring a new project. That's all I'm gonna say. Don't try to get anything else out of me. They're sponsoring a new project, okay? And the second thing is that they are going to be giving discount codes to people on Patreon. And they're good. They're good, um, good discounts. So, yeah, very excited about that. That'll be happening very soon. So the first one is really exciting, but I can't really I can't tell you much more right now. Um, yeah. So it's great. It's great. Yeah, they are legends. Um, we love B&J. OK, so another thing I could do. You could do the low side bun. Look at that. 
Um, you could do a little side bun here. I like to do a side bun and then do a flower. Oh, mm, saucy. Um, we could try the milkmaid braids next. You wanna do that? What kind of shampoo I use? Um, do you want me to go get it? I'll be right back. Talk amongst yourselves. I'm back. Oh. <laughs> um, Garnier Whole Blends Repair. Okay, Honey Treasures. It smells really nice. Um, repairs and men's dry damaged hair. And then this is the conditioner. Um, they do ship to Canada. And yeah, they are going to put together a selection of dirty fabrics for us too. So that's nice. That's another thing we talked about, but, um, they're a little overloaded right now. So we're going to just start with these two ideas. Look how she abandoned. I'm back. I'm back. I can't, I can't go too far in this house. Don't worry, guys. Um, okay, I'm trying to part my hair again. I know I'm supposed to use the tail line, guys. I can't do it. Yeah, so, so yeah, lots of exciting things from B&J. They do ship to Germany. They ship worldwide. Okay, so let's talk about milkmaid braids. Um, so to do a milkmaid braid, you would start down here instead of up here, like I started last time. And I think that might work better for me today with all those um, with all those flyaways I'm experiencing. So we're gonna do a braid, just a simple. Simple little braid. Um, this lip color is Dose of Colors Date Night. Missy, have you tried um, Dose of Colors? They're my new obsession um, with the lip color. Okay, so I braided it to the end. And then you would just kind of go like that, secure it, hmm. grab a bobby pin, and just pin that in place. And as Missy mentioned, you can buy a hairpiece for this sort of thing. Um, Madison Braids makes them, and I've done that before, so you can have like extra. I wish they made bigger, I wish they made like big, fat braids. Someone needs to invent that. Um, big old Ginger Rogers twist to go on top of your head. It's not Kiss of Fire. <laughs> Kiss of Fire is my favorite, but you know. Um, Missy, you did use baked browns on me because you know what? I just bought that. Should we get that out next? Should we play show and tell with eyeshadow? Can you guys tell I just need an easy day after yesterday? I was so hyped up yesterday. It took me forever to kind of relax last night. So today we're just playing with my hair and looking at eyeshadow. Um, yeah. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, so I'm braiding this side. Missy actually does hair for Besame. So um, I don't really, okay, so I'm taking the, I'm taking this braid and then I'm kind of put, I'm overlapping it with the first one. I did have a great pattern release day. Thank you guys. It was great. It was a little too exciting. You can see my big old bobby pin there. So now you can just kind of hide the bobby pins. Hmm. Can you see my Pat McGrath colors? Definitely. Let's do eyeshadow next. Mm. 
I'm feeling this. I'm feeling my very modern little wisp over here. Do you guys follow Barefoot Blonde on Instagram? I bought some of their clip-in extensions. And uh, they do lots of these like wispy braided updos. So I feel very like Barefoot Blonde. <laughs> modern girl. Yeah, so now you can just kind of, I'm liking this better, guys. How do we feel about this? I feel a little more polished, less like a hot mess. Um, you like the hair crown? Yeah, I'm digging it. So you can do that. And obviously, you can still add flowers. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, you know, this is my complaint. I just wish I could find a hair piece that had more height on the top. Would I consider doing a live stream in my sweats and no makeup? Um, it's unlikely, I gotta say. This is like the one time of day that I get dressed up and I feel more like myself. <laughs> so if I were really, if I ever do show up in sweats with no makeup on, you, you'll know that I'm really losing it. <laughs> Cause I'll just be like, I, I can't be bothered. I can't even be bothered anymore. But tomorrow the Zoom um, the Zoom party is a pajama party. Okay, so you can do the flowers down here. That's fun. Oh my gosh, you love you guys love the dressmaker. I tried to watch that, guys. It, I found it just really disturbing. That like. Um, wear a tiara. Um, okay. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling my, I'm feeling my, my fantasy. Um, um hmm. tomorrow is 6 p.m. EST or EDT, which I think we're in now. <sighs> okay. The September issue movie. Is that the documentary? First Monday in May or whatever it's called. I wish I had a second white flower to put on this side, make it really symmetrical. Um, charm or charm bill. Um, okay, guys. Hmm. I'm feeling good. All right, stay here. All right, asymmetry is the bomb. <laughs> All right, everyone. Um, yeah, that's a great documentary, Michelle. I agree. I really enjoyed that. Okay, so should we talk eyeshadow? Um, now we're playing show, show and tell with my eyeshadow palettes. Um, this is the one I'm wearing today, the Pat McGrath Mothership in um, Bronze Seduction. So it was very expensive. I don't regret it at all. Um, today I'm wearing the, let's see. I'm wearing this, oh, this sort of medium brown color all over my eyelid. And then I used a damp brush to put on that super like gold bronze glitter color like all over the eyelid. And then I did the crease and under my eye with the darkest brown. And then I did like a little bit, I did my dab of that sort of like holographic glitter right here on the inner, inner corner. So yeah, this is a really pretty palette. Um, very like, well, it should feel expensive. It was expensive. All right, so I also have some Dose of Colors palettes here because I love these so much. This is probably my favorite, my second. Well, I don't know. I also like my Toasted palette. 
I like this one a lot. Um, Blushing Berries from Dose of Colors is great. How many palettes do I have? I'd say I have a reasonable. <laughs> Eight to 10? It's not that bad. Um, this is Blushing Berries. And you can see that there's like, okay, so this color I kind of put all over the lid. This pinky one is great. Um, and then I love the, the dark one for the, for the crease. I don't use a lot of the black one. I kind of feel like it's a little bit of a, um, <laughs> it's a little, it's a little too black. Um, a reasonable amount. <laughs> Hi, Jenny. Good morning. Um, you've got over 20. See, that's not bad. You use this one, Missy? Blushing Berries? I'm obsessed with this. Um, <clears throat> be so gentle. Okay. So should we, I haven't even opened this one yet. I just got it from Ulta. I did some like stress shopping on Ulta last week. I got baked browns. So let's look at it together. Um, this palette gets like insanely good reviews. Like if you Google it, people will be like the one, the one eyeshadow palette you'll ever need. It's like a little no baked brown. Oh, baked brown is the one you use. Okay. Um, so yeah, I just got this. I haven't even played with it yet. But look at that. I mean, I know it looks it looks not so exciting probably, but it's like really pretty warm browns. Um, and Missy, you're the one who taught me that um, like warm browns look best on me. So that's part of why I got this. So I'm glad that I know that you also have that little Too Faced one that you've used on me before. Oh my gosh, should we talk about my watch? This was my grandmother's watch, my mom's mom. Isn't it pretty? It doesn't, um, it needs to be like serviced. Is that the right word? <laughs> it's not actually working. I don't even have it on the right, it's upside down. <laughs> but I don't feel like I would really look at, I wear it more like as a bracelet anyway. Um, and you'll see I wear it at a lot of photo shoots too because it looks so good with vintage dresses and vintage style outfits. Um, so yeah, this is the baked browns. Um, yeah. You know what I don't have a reasonable amount of is lipstick, like red lipsticks. I have like every color of red lipstick, but I've really just been using my baked browns lately. Not baked browns, dose of color. <laughs> Guys, help me. What am I talking about? Um, hmm. so you know what? It looks like the little twisty thingy came off. That's a shame. Um. Yeah, and it has um, my mom or my grandma's initials monogrammed on the back, and there's a date which is six nine nineteen forty. Um, the twisty thingy, um, the twirly, the twirly deal. Um, yeah, so I think my mom said, "Mom, if you're here, confirm that she, that um, my grandma got this for her college graduation." And the other piece of jewelry that I wear every day is this ring, which is also a, a family heirloom, um, which belonged to Watchmaker will be able to replace the twisty thing. Okay, that's good to know. Um, so this is like an Art Deco ring that um, has been through a, a couple generations in my family um, from my mom's aunt. Oh, mom's here. Okay, so mom, I'm gonna tell the story about the ring and you can correct me. So this ring belonged to my mom's aunt. And am I plugged in? Guys, talk amongst yourselves. Just give me a minute. <laughs> I don't want to um, lose power. My laptop isn't plugged in. Uh-oh, okay, stay here. Is it plugged in now? Um, sorry guys, just give me a minute. Hold on. Bam. 
there it goes. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I was just kind of worried that um, my laptop was going to die. <laughs> now, and now everything else is turning on. The printer's coming on. There's a sewing machine that just turned on. It was all in like one um, power strip. Okay. Yes. Okay. Mom is chiming in. Thank you, mom. So your aunt got the watch for her 16th birthday in 1916 and then gave it to my mom in the chat, Patty Sauer, on her 16th birthday. And then my mom gave it to me on my 16th birthday. Um, and it's very, very beautiful. And it so it will go to my niece on her 16th birthday. So I'm just kind of enjoying it while I have it. But yeah, I wear it every day. It's so pretty. <sighs> um, it's so hard to wait. <laughs> oh yeah, mom is confirming the story. You got it for your 16th birthday. I got it for my 16th birthday. And then Claudia, if she's a good girl. <laughs> We'll get it for her 16th birthday. <laughs> um, yeah, it is a nice tradition. It's hard to have to give it up. I will say that. Do I have any lipstick on my nose? Hmm. Okay. All right. So, um, you guys are excited about the new patterns. I really am too. So let's see, what can I tell you that I did today? Um, I did some final proofing and stuff on the pattern sheets, because as I've mentioned, we are going with a new printing method for, um, for the next patterns. So they're going to be on the heavy paper and on double-sided paper. So we've been looking at the proofs of that and kind of going back and forth. So now is kind of the end of the process where I'm like working with my designer, Lindsay, the graphic designer, and um, working with her to get the proofs finalized and then with the printer. Um, so yeah, everything is moving forward. And um so the other thing that happened today was I have not been able to sew all week, guys. I have been on my laptop nonstop, which is kind of a bummer. Um, so I've had some sewing to do, but I haven't been able to get to it. So today I finally, well, I had to because tomorrow, guess what I'm doing tomorrow? I'm going to be shooting for next month's Patreon project. So normally we would shoot um, both projects like Patreon and YouTube. We shoot them both in one day. I have a lot of help. I have a whole crew here, um, but obviously I won't have that this time around. So I'm just gonna try to take it easy on myself. Um, I'm gonna shoot Patreon only. I am kind of holding off on doing YouTube for May um, because it's, it's kind of just too much. <laughs> and um, we have another YouTube, we have a full hour long episode still coming out this month on YouTube. So, um, so we'll see, we'll see what happens. Um, I might kind of see how it goes tomorrow and then try to do YouTube another day. <laughs> John and the squeaky sock feet, I know. No, John. Um, so yeah, busy day tomorrow very excited about the Patreon, the project. I can't wait to show it to you guys. It is turning out so beautifully. So um, Patreon is always a little funny because I generally sew most of the project like on camera and then we shoot it another day. Like we take photographs another day. So um, yeah, it'll be really fun. It's good. No, I, I think it's going to be okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'll have two cameras. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, it, it, it'll be different. That's all I'm going to say. Um, my arm is doing a lot better. Thank you, whoever asked. Um, yeah, so I, I, 
I've gotten into the bad habit of working in my bed and on the couch again. But for a while, I was really good about sitting at this table and having the laptop here and like sitting like a real human being and um, having like that nice angle you're supposed to have for ergonomics. Is that what it's called? So I did that um, and it got better. And now I'm kind of tempting fate by um, working in bed. I need to like set some boundaries in my house too anyway, guys, because I don't know. I, for those of you who are now working at home, I have really been struggling with like, especially because I had a lot of stuff to move home from the studio. And um, my house is pretty small. And it's just been like, it feels very like almost suffocating in here <laughs> with all this stuff kind of moved back from the studio. and. I haven't really been getting out for walks as much as I should. So like lots of stuff that I could be doing to um, to have better mental health <laughs> that I haven't really been doing, including out, going out walking more and having a better separation of like the rooms in my house. So at least like keeping the bedroom like a little sanctuary without work stuff in it. But it's hard, it's hard. Um, yeah, so <sighs> yeah, I mean, Hattie and I get out and walk twice a day, but um, she doesn't actually like to walk for um, long distances. <clears throat> so um, actually, my mom got her a little, um, a little like baby carrier. That's so cute. <laughs> It's like it goes over me crosswise and she goes in this little bag and her head sticks out and it's really cute so that I can do longer walks with her. It's very cute. Um, yeah, so let's see. I feel like I've been a little all over the place today, guys. Um, go sit outside. Um, yeah. I should. I have a back porch now that it's getting a little warmer. It'll be nice. Oh, you like the childhood pics? <laughs> yeah, so mom has been going through um, all of the old family slides, and she found an app where you can, like, turn them into little photos on your phone. So she's been sending me tons of pictures every day, and I put a bunch of them in uh, in my stories on Instagram. I think it was today. I'm losing track of the time. Um, I think I put it up today, this morning. Um, so yeah, there's some little baby pictures of me. One with my grandpa and then one of me wearing my little pinafore dress with the gingham blouse underneath it. And then one of me on my rocking horse wearing a bonnet. <laughs> um, okay, my knitting is coming along. I actually, can you guys hang on another second? I wanna show it to you. Talk amongst yourselves. Okay, so show the knitting. Here we go. Okay, so look how cute this yarn is. Um, I did the first few inches with a really small needle. And then I measured it and it was too, the, the gauge was too small. So I moved to a bigger, well, bigger needle. It's still so tiny, but it felt so, it felt so big after using that tiny one. And now my gauge matches what the pattern says it should. But I do feel like it's quite, it's like a little bit airy, like between the stitches. I don't know if you guys can see, but like, um yeah the bottom is really tight and now this is is looser up here but i don't know can you see my face through there um is it like troublesome if you can see through it or should i expect to maybe have to wear um a camisole or something underneath there what do you guys think but yeah i think it'll be cute i love this color um Wash it and see if it blooms. It looks right. It looks okay. Um, hold on. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll tell you the size.
Katie from Beetle and Fred like dropped off needles on my porch for me. <laughs> um, okay, so I went, the first one I tried was a size one, a US one and a half. slash 2.5 millimeters, so really small. Um, and then I, it was like, it was pretty, the gauge was pretty off. So I went up to a number three, um, US 3.25 millimeters. It could bloom. Uh, I went up to a three. That sounds right, doesn't it? Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, the yarn. Guys, I don't know. I don't know anything about this. Um, the, um, the project I'm making, though, is one of Amy's, um, Amy's, uh, Poison Girl patterns. And I was thinking of doing beauty school. Though I did see that um, Rizzo, Rizzo has the same gauge. So I might look at Rizzo and see, because I kind of like that design better, but I was worried that it would be too difficult for me. Uh, okay. All right, guys. Hmm. All right. Well, definitely wash it. All right. I think I'm going to cast off. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to, what's the word guys? I'm going to tie it up, wind it, wind it down. Um, I'm going to finish the edge and then I'll like hand wash it and block it. Um, bind off. Thank you, Susie. Um, oh, cast off is correct. Sign up, bind off. Okay. Oh, wow. look at me. Look at me. All right. So I'll try that next. Yeah. So that's, that's my little knitting project. You've never heard bind off. I, th I think that's how I was taught. Maybe that's an American thing. Um, bind off. <laughs> uh, all right, so that's that. Um, I'm checking my gauge for the pattern body and not for the ribbing. Yes, I am. Use a bigger needle to cast off. All right, thanks guys. Thank you. Um, yeah, so what else can I tell you? Um, I feel like I've been more all over the place than usual today. Um, I, I gave you an update on the new patterns. Oh, should we talk about um, plans for Patreon? for the live streams. We have, we've done a couple Zooms for Patreon already this month. I was thinking about, you know, we were talking yesterday that it is, um, it would have been nice if I could share my screen with you guys and kind of talk more about the new patterns. So I was thinking maybe for Patreon as our, our next live, cause I officially do two live streams a month for Patreon. I, and now it, like, Schedule's kind of out the window and I've been doing live stuff every day, but um, maybe one other thing we could do this month on Patreon is do a crowdcast where I can share my screen with you and we can really go through each of the variations and the patterns and everything, the two new patterns. So I can talk a little bit more at length about how the pieces go together and what the variations are and the fabrics and all that. Yeah, so we could do Zoom. I like Crowdcast a lot if you guys are open to it. Um, we've done a test on there. So um, yeah, so that could be our next Patreon thing. Um, and that would be for all tiers. 
I also have planned another live stream with a special guest later this month. She was going to be in person with me, but that obviously will not be happening. So um, I'll see if she is open to um, doing a Zoom or some sort of thing where we do a split screen. Um, it's an app. It's a, it's a website slash app. Yeah, everyone really liked Crowdcast, so um, we'll try it. Yeah, so let's do that. Um, yeah, we tend to do um, Patreon live streams on the weekends during the day. So uh, maybe I'll schedule that Crowdcast for the next um, <sighs> next weekend. Not this weekend, next weekend. Yeah, the poll feature was really fun. I hear that they do Zoom polls too, though. I'm gonna try it tomorrow for our birthday party. Is everyone excited about the birthday party? Um, so it is pajama themed. I don't actually know what I'm gonna wear, so don't feel bad if you don't have like really cute pajamas. Um, I have some vintage 90s that, so I could potentially wear one of those. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be really fun. Um, you don't have to sew if you don't want to. We've kind of been more focused on sewing in the last ones. Uh, maybe just, you know, if you wanna sew, you can. If you wanna just hang out, you can. You don't have to wear makeup. <laughs> um, and yeah, we're gonna do some prizes for the Aries people. Um, yeah, it's gonna be really fun. All right. You're going to knit. <laughs> yeah, we could knit. Um, yeah, it'll be really fun. Belinda is going to be our special guest moderator. Yeah, bring your wine. Bring your cake. Um, yeah, it'll be really fun. So what else can I tell you guys about Patreon? Um, I did end up, I don't know if you guys noticed, um, I did end up closing off the upper two tiers, but that's not permanent, just so you know. Um, there was just like a lot of shifting around of tiers like on launch day and like a lot of confusion um, about like who could get the benefits in the upper tiers and it, one of the things I said was that you had to be in the $17 tier like before we started the pre-order to get the benefits from the pre-order. And people were kind of, like kind of joining yesterday and like, and then messaging me and asking me if they could still get them. And I was just like, we have, we, I think we just need to like cap off the tier, the upper tiers for now. So you think that's a good idea? Yeah. So the upper tiers are capped temporarily. Um, I haven't really decided how and when I'm going to open them up again. It'll definitely be after the pre-order period. But um, any, you know, you can still join in the three or seven dollar tier. And in those tiers, you can get all of the Patreon downloads and Patreon projects. Um, and you can still get um, the live streams and come to the Zoom party and all that stuff. So the upper tiers are more for like charm patterns benefits. So that's why I kind of had to cap them off now. So <laughs> cheaters, I know. it was all after my little speech about cheaters and how you, had to, you can't worry about cheaters. <laughs> and then I was like, uh, maybe I need to worry. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, it just got a little too confusing. And um, yeah, I mean, I think just for now we need to, to kind of cap them off. So yeah, um, the... <laughs> Um, yeah, I kind of, the, the success of those upper tiers kind of depends on people staying in them. So like, we can't really have people like moving up and down between pre-orders. Like I understand the like urge to do that, but if too many people do that, like we're not going to be able to continue the upper tiers. Um, so, so yeah, that's all I'll say about that, but it's not like to punish you or anything. It's just kind of like to reduce some of the confusion around the um, the pre-order benefits for Patreon. And um, also I just don't want anyone signing up now and then being disappointed that they don't get something that they thought they should have gotten. So I think it will just keep you. Um, oh, so what happened yesterday too, um, Susie, was that um, I did an, 
I did a special post for $14 princess tier people. And so, and it was, if you're in the $17 tier, you can't see it because it's the benefits for 17 and 14 are totally different. So this post was intended only for the $14 people to tell them about their benefits for the pre-order. And what happened was, I guess people can see it on Patreon. So like if you're in the $17 tier, it would say like, it, you would show you the, the post kind of like blurred out and say like, pay $14 to unlock this tier. And so people were like, getting really confused and um, accidentally like downgrading or not downgrading, but going to the other princess tier because they thought that they had to, to see that post. So yeah, Patreon doesn't unfortunately do quarterly subscriptions. It's just, it's all monthly. So yeah, I think we just kind of have to figure out how to, to make it work for us. Um, but I really, I love Patreon. I love how it's going. I think just a lot of these things are going to be a bit of a learning curve for us. This was our first um, pre-order having the Patreon in place. So it, it makes sense that there was some confusion. And um, so I totally get it. And I also, I kind of have a suspicion that Patreon has been a little bit glitchy during this time. Um, so so yeah, if you're already in 17, if you're already in 14 and you're happy in those tiers, stay there because you're not going to be able to get back in right now. Um, yeah, so yeah, we're definitely learning as we go along. Um, yeah, I would say growing pains, but I don't feel like it's been painful. <laughs> um, it's been really exciting and like a really happy, good time for us to be on Patreon, even despite all the stuff going on worldwide i feel like so so happy that we are in there um so yeah it's just it's just kind of it's a learning curve yeah you're right it's a learning curve and um yeah we'll figure it out as we go along so but like i was saying i do think that patreon has been a little bit glitchy and unfortunately um they're located in San Francisco, I think, and we're really affected by the early lockdown there. So it's kind of hard to get in touch with them right now. And also, I think um, if you're seeing some glitches, like just kind of be patient and um, they will get back to you if you message them. It just might take a little bit longer than usual. So, yeah, I think. Um, yeah, I think it's going great. It's just, yeah, we're just kind of figuring it out. So, yeah, we'll see. Yeah, stay in your tears, everyone. Just, just stay in your tears. <laughs> um, yes, and don't be bamboozled by any Patreon glitches telling you to change your tier. Okay. Yeah, so we will be having um, some more periodic bonus offers. So if you didn't get the Starburst dress, don't worry, there's more coming. Um, yeah, we have so much great stuff coming for Patreon, guys. Don't even worry. All right, everyone. Um, <sighs> Princess for life. <laughs> Charm patterns and Disney. <laughs> All right, everyone. All right, my princesses. Um, thank you so much for joining me for another live stream. Um, please excuse my scatteredness today. Um, we will have our Zoom party tomorrow. Um, I'm going to take the weekend off live streams again. So Saturday is actually my birthday. So Saturday, I'm going to take the day off. I'm not going to work. And I think I'll take Sunday off too. So the next time that I'm going to be back here doing a YouTube live will be Monday. And we'll come up with a plan for doing that crowdcast and all of that. So yeah, very excited about our Zoom party tomorrow. So don't forget to join if you can. And um, thank you, thank you guys. Pamper myself, yeah. Hmm. And I'm just gonna say one more time, I cannot wait to show you what I am um, filming tomorrow. 
All right, so that'll be coming out May 1st. So lots more exciting stuff, more Patreon, more YouTube coming this month. So lots of treats to look forward to. Oh yeah, Sunday is Easter. I always forget about Easter. Happy Easter to those of you who are celebrating. Um, have a great weekend. Um, you'll get a link for the party tomorrow on Patreon, okay? I put up a separate post tomorrow, probably around midday, and it will have a, a link to the Zoom meeting. Thanks, guys. Um, thank you for spending time with me. This has been so fun. Um, thank you for li listening to me ramble about the various topics today. <laughs> All right. Have a great weekend, everyone. If I don't see you tomorrow, um, stay safe. Keep sewing. Keep on keeping on. And um, I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye.